What does that set that, us up for in technology jobs next year? Well, it's interesting. We started this year with 1.8 job openings for every job seeker. We're now around 1.4. And that jobs data, the employment reports come out and the economists and leaders say, OK, we're on track. That sounds good. Why doesn't the frontline worker experience it that way? There's the tale of two economies right now. There's the real economy, according to the charts, and then there's the perceived economy that young people have today. They're looking at the price of gas. They're looking at the price of groceries and they're frustrated. And the issue isn't necessarily necessarily. Is there a job? The issue is, even if I have a job, can I afford to live? That frustration is increasing unionization efforts, for example. You're seeing a lot more union activity than you have before. And as a CEO, that's what I would be worried about, is the collective action that my employees might take. The way that I handle that is I get ahead of it. The CEOs who are listening to their workforces, that are making space for people to feel heard, that are making sure that problems that are at the bottom of the organization bubble up quickly 